Airbus made the headlines just over a year ago when it revealed a striking design for a future aircraft. The concept featured an eye-catching blended wing fuselage in which the passenger cabin is integrated into a single large flying wing. But how has Airbus developed the idea since then, and what are its next steps? Before we go any further, a crazy 79% of you have not yet subscribed. Please, do us a favor and subscribe now, it really means a lot. Airbus actually showed off this design in February 2020 at the Singapore Air Show under the name Maverick. This stands for Model Aircraft for Validation and Experimentation of Robust Innovative Controls. Airbus didn't just unveil the concept, but also a scale model demonstrator aircraft, which it had first flown the previous year. The small demonstrator plane measured just 2 meters long and 3.2 meters wide. Its overall wing surface area was just 2.25 square meters. Despite this, Airbus was confident that if it can suitably scale up such technology, this innovative fuselage design may yet prove to be a game-changing, industry-disrupting concept. This design has the potential to reduce fuel consumption by up to 20% compared to current single-aisle aircraft. The blended wing body configuration also opens up new possibilities for propulsion systems type and integration, as well as a versatile cabin for a totally new onboard passenger experience. When airlines and manufacturers consider the future, efficiency and environmental factors often play a significant role in decision-making. As such, the 20% emissions reduction promised by Airbus's blended wing design surely captured it many admirers. However, later in the year, it revealed a new take on the design with an even better reduction. Coinciding with Zero Emissions Day 2020, September 21st saw Airbus unveil a portfolio of three proposed hydrogen-powered aircraft. Known as the Zero E range, these emission-free designs would offer a 100% reduction, and they included a blended wing concept. This had the highest capacity of the three proposed aircraft, seating around 200 passengers. Airbus stated that this design would have a similar range to its turbofan-powered Zero E concept, approximately 3,700 kilometers or 2,000 nautical miles. In terms of how operators would use the space within the quote-unquote exceptionally wide blended fuselage, it added that the design opens up multiple options for hydrogen storage and distribution and for cabin layout. So what's next for this design? With a demonstrator model already in action, Airbus may only need to find a way of scaling this technology up for it to be a success. A blended fuselage aircraft might have the potential to markedly alter sustainable aviation as we know it. What do you make of Airbus's blended wing fuselage concept? Do you believe such designs will become the norm in the future of commercial aviation? Let us know your thoughts and predictions in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.